morning, good morning, sweet family. Welcome. I am so excited to share another one of my childhood recipes with you. And I'm sure that you are going to love this recipe. This is a recipe that my gran used to make for us periodically, like once a week or sometimes every two weeks. It all depends. But in those days, this ingredient was so much cheaper, but now it is so expensive. But before we get any further, if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. And thank you so much for stopping back because I am going to have some exciting recipes coming up for you in the near future and today we have one and the one that we are looking at today is frizz saltfish frizzle saltfish i have not made this in like years i cannot even remember exactly how my grand used to make it but we are going to try it today and see how it turns out okay so let's get started um i am just going to show you what ingredients i have and then we will move on to the stove because i cut up everything and everything so that this don't uh, you don't have to see me just cutting up the stuff because everybody knows how to cut up stuff okay so my ingredients i have here but as you all know I always do things with a twist, you know how, how it is with Annie. But I have some chopped parsley here. I have some onion that I already grated, I didn't chop it, I just grated it. This is some echelons or green onions as people would call them. I have a little pepper here. just some habanero peppers to just give it a little sting and i have some garlic and this is our salt fish i already i already just frizzed it with my hands and just remember anything that you're going to be doing like this just make sure Everything is clean. All your surrounding is clean. All I did with this is just take it in my hands and just mash it up. But what I, I did first, I soaked this overnight and then I boiled it and I boiled out the majority of the salt. So because if you, you know, fry it down and frizz it, it will get even more salty. And y'all know how it is with me. Less is more. And I am not going to be putting in too much things in this because I don't want to overpower the taste of the saltfish. Because saltfish is good just on its own. And for those of you that would have watched my fish gate recipes would know that I always think that less is more. And I just have a little curry powder here that I'm going to put in because I just love curry. So I am going to um, just put like a teaspoonful as well. So now that I have told you my ingredients, we are going to head on to the kitchen. Okay, we are here by the stove. And these are my ingredients and we and that is gonna be the pan that I'm using I have I have some carrot oil on the stove as well I have my stove very low so that that doesn't you know that I've been on for a while and I have my salt fish here this is my salt fish and then 
I'm going to be using some olive oil in the pan today and we are going to bash up this recipe so let's see how it goes right I am just gonna put a little oil in the pan and that is probably about a tablespoon full of oil you can use whatever kind of oil you prefer and I am just gonna make sure it coats the pan well I'm gonna let it get slightly hot we just put our echelots in and it is sizzling a little Then I put in my onion and once again if there oops if there's anything else that you wanted in this you can also put it in. It's the choice is all yours. Then I am gonna put in my parsley, a quarter cup of parsley. and a quarter cup of the echelons then i am going to be putting in by and y'all can see i am not putting in any tomato or anything like that because that would definitely throw off the taste and we are making nor sweet pepper they are really acidic and my skin a lot of the times does not like the acid so this is seasoned very nicely um, then i am going to put in some of my pepper and the pepper is strictly to give it a little a little oomph and a little flavor I'm not putting in any pepper sauce I just put in the fresh pepper and another thing all those that know me would know that I do not get rid of my stuff so the water that I boil the fish in I keep that to make my spinach cakes or sometimes I just make seasoning cakes and I put that fish in it. So I have stir fried my stuff and I don't want it to burn. So the next thing we are gonna do, just take a look at it, see how beautiful it looks. It's beautiful, it smells nice too. You should smell the aroma, but this is the way I do my stuff. I want to share the experiences with you. I just don't want to come on and just do a recipe and that's it. All right, so we just put in the star of the show. And what we are going to do now is let this fry up a little. Let this look as though is almost about done looks as though it's almost about done and this is just gonna go on top of our rice i have my rice on there i just use a cup and a half or around two cups actually of jasmine rice Normally, I like the long grain rice, but my daughter likes the jasmine rice for some reason, so I decide to cook that today. But look at it. it
Now I boiled my rice with a little bit of thyme, just two sprigs of thyme, and I am taking it out now and discarding it. And my salt fish is done. And what I will do is just pan a plate and let y'all know how it tastes. But if I do say so myself, I do not like jasmine. Our recipe is all done. And here it is with the rice and the salt fish. So I am going to give it a taste for you. And I know it's going to just taste great. As I say, less is more. And when you take up a piece of the salt fish and the rice together, it is awesome. So, mm, it's good. Actually, it doesn't taste bad with the jasmine rice, you know. So, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, you know what to do. Send me a comment. Share this recipe with your friends. And also, like and subscribe to this channel. Because when you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you will know whenever I post another recipe. And this channel, it deals with some hair, some skin, the overall health of the body via tinctures, extracts, you know, in the kitchen with Annie, sharing some Bajan recipes with you. I mean, this channel just deals with a whole host of things. So if it's something you don't want to watch, you just don't have to watch it. And it has a little bit of faith, which is, might be prayers or something. So, as I always say, thank you so much and blessings to you. I love you all because when I started this channel, I didn't think that I would still be doing it because I would normally start things and stop. So... Continue to let your light shine and spread the love.